Hey guys, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Let's Talk DevOps. Now, in today's video, we are going to discuss those nine questions that you can expect. Those nine questions that anyone can ask in a DevOps managerial interview. So, we are going to discuss all those nine questions, all those nine points and a few other things in this video. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first question that you can expect in a DevOps manager interview is what are your branching strategies? Now, what is the meaning of branching strategy? So, branching strategy means how do the developers in a team or in a, inside in any organization do their fixing of works and then uh, they take care of the branches, whatever they use. So, branches, when I'm talking about branches over here, it means that I'm talking about GitHub branches, the code branches that you do. So, what generally people have is the first branch is the master branch, which is the main branch that goes into the release every time the second branch is the staging branch staging branch is a branch which is almost like of a pre-production branch almost like a master branch but then is used for testing and a dev branch so these are the three main branch in dev branch development happens almost every day and then at the end of the sprint or the end of the cycle it get cuts and it is merged to the branch so merged to the master branch so these are the three things that you need to know but when I'm talking about the branching strategies, I'm asking you that how do you fix a bug and how do you work on it? So let's take an example. So for the first time, let's say there is a bug that has been notified. Now what the developer will do, it will cut out a branch from your development branch and then fix that bug and then he will raise a PR. So the PR means the pull request. So whenever a developer writes some codes, he raise a pull request or a PR against that branch and someone from the development team, mostly a senior developer person will check out the code and then approve that PR. So once that PR is approved, the code is merged to the branch against which it has been raised. And that's one of the strategies that is followed in any organization. So that's the first question that you can expect. Now he can cross question it, what happens to the feature branch. So you can say it keeps on there uh, in the system or you can say we delete it. So that depends on you, how do you follow it? But for the first question you can expect is what are the branching strategies that your company follows? The next question, the second question that you can expect is the how often do you release your product or how often do you do a release? So an answer to that question could be some companies have a very kind of chaotic environment and then they release every week. So in every week what they do is they release it to a dev branch first and then deploy from the in the development environment after that they do to the stage and after that to the production. The cycle comes that way only, development, staging, UAT or something, UAT is user acceptance testing if a lot of company has it, a lot of company does not have it and then to the production. So your answer to this question could be depending on their product but some in, in my case it, ha it has been a weekly because I take a care of a lot of products. So one could be the ans one answer could be is monthly, second answer could be weekly and it can be a fortnight. So fortnight is kind of a period of one sprint uh, somewhere around 15 days. So that can be the answer of your question that's how often we can release the product and he can cross question on this that how do you do the process that you can explain according to the work that you do inside your organization now the third question a manager can ask that what are your roles and responsibilities in the team so it the answer depends on what exactly role you are doing in the system in the system in the organization so if you are at a team lead position you can say that you can you manage a lot of people four people or 10 people or 50 people and you distribute their work. So that could be one answer. Or if you are just at the low level position, uh, just uh, just at the entrance level, like one or two years, you can say, okay, I fix uh, the builds, I fix the pipeline, I monitor them through this and this software. I come every day, log in and check my Slack messages, my Teams message in and up according to that, I will take care of my product. So that could be one of your answers that uh, what are your roles and responsibilities in the team. The next question, the fourth question that you can expect is what you do on day to day basis in your organization or as a DevOps engineer. So the answer to this question could be, so for example, let's say you log in at 10 a.m. So first, first thing that you do is your, you check your build messages. So if you have integrated your build, if you have in integrated your pipelines with Slack or Teams, you will see a message that whether your build has passed or failed. So if the build has passed, then everything is great. Then you can carry on to the next one or if the build has failed, then you can say, okay, this build has failed. I have to take a look at it and I have to make it green. I have to make it work and then I'll proceed to some other work. So that could be the work. So this is, this falls into the maintenance monitoring category. But if you are 
doing some new work so you can say i am working in jenkins i am creating pipelines some declarative pipelines i am doing some automation work what kind of automation you are writing your code into some infrastructure infrastructure code like terraform or 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 cloud formation or for aws for that matter or you can say that you are writing pipelines pipelines if you are writing in azure devops then you are writing yaml files when you are creating declarative pipelines in jenkins then you can answer according to that so that could be one of your answer that what are what are your roles and responsibilities in the team and what you can if this is kind of a related to the previous question but a slightly bit slight bit different that uh, what you do on a daily day to day basis so that could be the answer of your question now the fifth question is how do you handle the build when it fails at the production level or what happens when there is a bug at the production level now this is one of the most trickiest question that you can face in a devops managerial interview now what happens is when there is a production level bug there there could be an eta eta means estimated time in which they ask okay you have 24 hours you have 48 hours it depends upon the software requirement specification document that you have you guys have created or on the contract with your company with your client so this under this contract you maintain that okay this is a priority one bug or this is a p1 you can say this is a red bug then what you have to do you have to decide a time period let's like, say 24 hours in that time period you have to fix it so you have to tell that what you do in those 24 hours that fixes a bug now what happens is as i told in my first question in the branching strategies what happens is let's say there is a master branch and in that master branch the bug went to the production now you have to fix it now what you will do you will either you will going to fix the bug in the develop branch and then promote it to the staging branch uat branch and then master branch or you will fix in the master branch and then you will pick that cherry pick that and push it in the every branch so that is very tricky question that you have to answer then that how do you do so that could be one question that you can expect at the production level and this is actually very important question so the next question is this is more of a technical question because sometimes a manager can check your technical skills uh, and not every time the manager is functional he can be a technical manager as well so he can ask you what is ci and cd what is the difference between ci and cd continuous integration continuous deployment or And, on, and he can ask as well that how do you do the ci cd part of your system so that you have to explain that what what are you doing in that ci cd part are you triggering the build are you taking notes from uh, developers okay you guys have fixed this i should run it every fix i should run my build at every fix or i should run it every night monthly build daily build weekly build and that you have to answer that what exactly is your role and how do you maintain the ci cd part and he can also ask that explain me the product In, in this product how the final product reaches from step 1 step 1 is your coding step which developer will do and from there you have to draw the pipeline in such a way that you can draw it on paper or something and if it's a virtual interview you can draw it on ms paint that what is the first step and how is the end result is getting placed so that you can explain in this type of questions now the next question is it's one of the most important questions because devops is all devops is all about the collaboration and a devops manager in order to check how will you behave in front of all the teams and how will you talk to the all the teams you this is the question that they ask that how do you collaborate with other teams or how do you uh, make it work between other teams because devops is someone who takes care of talking to developers talking to managers talking to the stakeholders talking talking to the uh, testers and then doing the deployment so that's 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 one of the most important question then uh, that um, a manager needs to understand your psyche that how do you behave when you talk to a lot of people so you can answer okay i take notes from the developers that what they have fixed what issues they are facing and in the testing part because your pipeline might be having some uh, let's say uh, your pipeline has a java product and it's a web based application so you might be putting some kind of selenium test now you are not going to write selenium test but you have to integrate those selenium test in your pipeline now how will you integrate them that the process you need to know and for that you have to talk to the tester that how you have created it and then the integration part is on you so that you can explain it to the manager in in the managerial interview to your manager that your would be manager that okay this is something i talk to developers this is something i talk to manager and if you are a team lead then you have to talk about how do you transmit all this knowledge to the peers and to the to the juniors and how do you transmit all this knowledge to the manager so that's what you can answer in this type of question now the next question a manager can ask is when you join this company it could be one month it could be one year or 10 years what extra did you do in the team that was not existing before for example there was a pipeline before and now you are the manager or you are the new guy 
what progress you made in your personal life for the technical level i'm talking about the technical part and for the organization because the organization is giving you money you have some sole responsibility for the organization so what extra thing you have done now this extra this word extra means that what exactly is coming from your brain what how are you brainstorming the problem and pushing those new ideas thinking out of the box pushing those new ideas to the manager to the team lead okay so our pipeline is having some some kind of it's not having some kind of problem improvement is not always about problems it about let's say you have 10 things but you can push that 11 thing that takes your pipeline to the next level for example you can push sonar cube you can push check marks that will show your code vulnerabilities the code smell so that could be one answer to your question that what exactly you have done what exactly your point of view and how it was before and after you did it what exactly the new thing has been done in your pipeline in your devops practices so that's one of the question that you can expect in a devops managerial interview now uh, this is the last question for this video and this is somewhat related to the previous question that what changes are are you expecting over the course of 6 months what is the road map and in the future how you're going to take it so as i said that in the previous question they they will ask you like what improvement you had made but they might ask you if you are a team lead or a manager or someone who who has started looking into devops closely they might ask you this question that what exactly is the road map of your 6 months and what are the process that you improve for an example he'll give you a use case or he'll give you a use case for his his or her organization only that i am having this pipeline now there are 10 steps in this there are five steps in this what is the step that you think is missing so if i make you a team manager if i am making you a team lead or some senior devops guy what are the changes that you are going to do so create me a road map of 3 months create me a road map of 6 months what are the changes that you gonna do so depending on the type of application you have to answer this question for example it's a financial uh, financial institution application uh, let's say financial institution some banking kind of application that you are producing so the first thing that you talk about is the security part this is just an example your application can be of any type so let's say in your pipeline there was no no code checking you you were not checking about the vulnerabilities part the code smells the technical debt you are not checking about that so you can say okay i can push check marks and sonar cube over that i can prepare the report and depending on the vulnerability vulnerabilities i'll do the code coverage part and tell it to my manager that okay this is the road map and i want to push these two things that will improve the quality of my code and the whole pipeline so i hope you have understood this question so uh, i think i have discussed all those nine question that you can expect in a devops manager interview the first key is you need not need to know everything it's just you have to have an idea or some kind of road map in your brain that the things that you have worked upon and how you want to go about it in the future so that you can uh, you, according to that you can answer in the question one of the key things is just be confident on what you have done and what you're going to do now so i hope i have made these things clear to you if you have any question feel free to comment out below in the comment section and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video